What's going on, Brews? Welcome to this week's installment of These Pokemon Cards Are Going Up In Price. This week, we're going we're gonna to talk about quite a lot of cards. We're going to talk about 19 total cards, 5 SIRs, 11 Illustration Rares, 2 Crown Zenith cards, and 1 EX. Real quick though, a couple channel announcements. Next week, next Tuesday, July 9th at 6 p.m., I will be interviewed live on Rob Does Pokemon, his new series, Apple Juice Breaks. Rob Does Pokemon, if you know me, you probably know him. I absolutely love the guy. He is the most, the most full of personality Canadian you will ever meet. The guy has a good time and he's a great new content creator. His new Apple Juice Breaks, once a week, every week, he interviews a fellow content creator and I am one of the first people that he has decided to interview. So next Tuesday, around I think 6 p.m., on Rob's channel, I will be there. So please show your support for me and for Rob. All us new Pokemon and TCG content creators, we need all the help we can get, okay? We need all the help we can get. All right, and then even bigger announcement real quick. Next month, in, in fact, August 1st, I will be getting on a plane and I will literally be flying out of, halfway across the nation to meet another Pokemon TCG content creator. And this guy, um, when it comes to content creation, he's not the number one biggest name in the entire world, but when it comes to the Pokemon TCG hobby itself, he kind of is. And I will announce who that is on Rob Does Pokemon's live stream next Tuesday, July 9th at 6 p.m. All right, so let's get into this week's cards that are exploding in price, and we're also going to touch on some cards that are fizzling out, okay? So first, we're going to hit a bunch of I or, uh, special illustration rares and then some new illustration rares taken off. Then we'll touch on some previous illustration rares from the last couple weeks we've already talked about. And then I'm gonna get into some stuff going down and some very unique things that you should absolutely take a look at that we're gonna talk about. All right, let's get to it. Let's get started. So right off the bat, guys, we're gonna talk about Greninja. This card I have spoken about numerous times, obviously recently, about how I think, uh, you know, five years from now, three years from now, looking back on this era, this will be one of the top three or top five most popular, most iconic cards from the Scarlet and Violet era. And I've gone over on this channel a lot of reasons why. I'm not going to repeat myself. But here we go. Let's look at the one month. So the one month, look at that. That is, that's not a stairway. That's an escalator. Okay, so this thing's up to 240. You know, I'm not doing any price predictions or anything. I, I well... I see this card a few years from now resting comfortably in the $170, $180 and still being looked at as one of the most iconic, so I do think this is high. I don't think it's going to go up to like $300 or anything crazy. However, Greninja is still going up, still going very strong and is one of this week's very well performing cards and that is crazy looking. So again, Greninja is just doing what Greninja does and that again is because twilight masquerade they made the pull rates for this set harder than ever it might be tied with temporal forces but all right so now let's get into mew mew from pelian fates let's check this out hitting 90 dollars flattening out at 90. let me let, let's zoom out a little on this graph though so this right here over this last six months as you say from march it has been so so slowly but surely you know uh higher lows and it's just it's just a very healthy beautiful looking Mew chart at $90 Mew is still going very strong now let's double up on the Charizards these two Charizards the two most expensive most iconic Charizards from this era they are doing very unique things together in tandem for the first time so first of all let's look at Scarlet and Violet 151 Charizard it's up to over $120 for the first time in quite a while quite a long while in fact since release, you know, month after release, a month or two, it was at 130. But then you see all of this just downward and then leveling. So for the last six months, this is a new six-month high. So to be at $124 when in April it was flirting with 100, that's really good. Obviously, it's up 25% since April. And now let's look at the Paldean Fates Charizard because very similar. So it was last week or two weeks ago, as I said, we need to watch what it, what it does when it taps this $100 mark, because things either free fall or tend to bounce and bounce well. And clearly this thing bounced very well since I, it was right around here when I made that video, and I was like, we really need to see what it does right here. And it just took took the frick off. So on the one month, Palais and Fates Charizard is 
well, hold on, let's look at the three month. So it is at a three month high, six months from when it released. What we do is we ignore all of this and then we start looking right around here. So right here since February, since mid-February 116, this is a new six month high if you take the, you know, the initial pump out of the equation. So yeah, both Charizards. Is Charizard finally making a comeback? I don't know. That secret rare from Brilliant Stars is still $55, just like it's been for freaking two years. Uh, anyway, obviously, Altar is doing great. It's like $180. Okay, so Infernape. Infernape, Trilight Masquerade. Uh, this is a new one. So you see since 6.13, a couple weeks ago, a five, $5 card at release. It was pretty much just a... You know, there's your... Yeah, it was basically a 5 or $6 card. Now it's looking like it's an $8 card. And Climbing aggressively climbing good for you and for night here's definitely a new one temporal forces sawsbug not deerling i already checked deerling is still nothing but sawsbug look at this so it's almost a ten dollar card now look right here so just in may it was five bucks whatever and then now here we are and it's already coming up on being a ten dollar card for sawsbug and again deerling is still like three or four bucks so specifically Sawsbuck is going up to almost double digits. Uh, Crown Zenith card. So all that we're going to talk about Crown Zenith in a second uh, via a card I'm going to use in here in a minute. Uh, but Deoxys, as far as going up in Crown Zenith, it's one of the few cards that isn't giving back lately as far as Crown Zenith goes. If you look at the three month, this Deoxys uh, being abducted by Orbeetle is doing very well. Um, you know, because a lot of the, all the Crown Zenith cards are about 15 to 20 percent off where they were. Whereas you can see, you know, most of them went started to go down here. Deoxys has actually clicked up slightly more. So this Deoxys, for whatever reason, it's one of the few Crown Zenith cards that is actually actively going up right now. All right, now let's talk about some cards that we've already touched on over the last couple weeks. So Nine Tails. It was just two weeks ago I was telling you that Cleffa just barely nudged past Ninetales as the most expensive Obsidian Flames card. And then now, here we are, and it's just a couple weeks later, Ninetales is almost $12, and Cleffa is back down to being like a $7 or $8 card. So Cleffa and Ninetales were neck and neck, and then Cleffa tanked, and Ninetales just kept flying up. So Ninetales is almost a $12 card now, and it is very much actively, as you can see on the one month, today right now this second still going up very strong another card uh i think i broke the news on this one last week a Veltal. this card has also still just continued what was it like 14 it was only like 13 it's like 12 or 13 bucks like last week or something when i when i brought it up and now we're up to 16 holy crap another one metagross and again the reason i'm re-bringing these up is because they're still doing good uh, yeah, so that's why we're just rehashing these cards from last week. So Metagross, also, it looks like it is, it's went up like a dollar since we last talked about it, is what it is. Okay, so because there's so many Paldea Evolved illustration rares that I talked about last week, I kind of am just going to group them all together right here, because they're all kind of grouped together anyway. So Heracross, Sprigatito, Pseudo, Wudo, and Foycoco are all between almost 14 to $12. I think it is interesting that of the four, Heracross is doing the best. I mean, they're all neck and neck. Next week, this could be rotated around. But the Heracross card, you know, for the longest time, is just nothing. And then now, it's just done so well. So it's like this middle tier, the second tier of Paldea Evolved illustration rares are starting to get the Paldea Evolved treatment across the board. Like, for all these to even pass up, Bax Caliber, who since release has been an $11 or $12 card consistently over the last year. Uh, I, f I think that's interesting. Because this Bax Caliber, this Bax Caliber has been double digits since release. And I think the artwork, the artist, the everything, I'm actually shocked this Bax Caliber <laughs> has just stayed. Let's see. So look over the year. It's been 13 to 9. It's always been one of the more expensive ones. But then all these guys that were cheaper than Bax Caliber, like those five we just mentioned, just passed him up so i don't know like this back's caliber i mean as long as the trend of irs going up continues i would not be shocked if this guy's next in line for the paldea evolved treatment because that back's caliber is just 
like the whole evolutionary line of Frigibax, uh, Artibax, and Bax Caliber, I think are way more popular than a lot of older heads, you know, people realize. All right, let's talk about Ralts. This card we've talked about a lot, obviously. It's like a month ago. I said this was the guaranteed lock to go up. And yeah, so here's the new chart on it. It's gone up a few bucks, okay? You can't get mad at me over a few bucks. So for those of you that accuse me of pumping cards, I'm sorry. It was like 14 when I first started talking about it. It's 17 now. It was a nice safe pick, a nice safe investment. And again, I still think it's going to land somewhere in the 20 to $30 range. All right, so now let's talk about some stuff going down and just some interesting stuff. We only have five more cards and then we're done. Already, we're already done. So this, this card that we're about to talk about for the last three or four months has just been, for a lot of us, too expensive to buy. Not just because it's expensive, but because there's just so many expensive cards to buy that's like, do I really want to pay that much for this card? And it's finally cheaper, so I think I'm finally going to consider buying it because it is an awesome card, and it was almost $200 at one point. And that's Iron Crown from Temporal Forces. This card's been $80, $70, $180, $180, you know, whatever. But right now it is for the first time ever clicked under sixty dollars. Look at that, fifty-nine bucks. So if you're someone who has been in the market for temporal force SIRs and those top few were just too expensive, too rich for your blood, well, I got good news. Uh, at least Iron Crown. You know, I think uh, Raging Bolt's about eighty. But yeah, Iron Crown sixty fifty-nine dollars is by far the cheapest I've seen Iron Crown in months. All right, so that's down. And then let's talk about TCG volatility, playability, playability, volatility. When this set came out, this drag pull EX was $20. And then it was $15 and it was $10 and then blah, blah, blah. Now it's not even $4. So I'm just saying when it comes to recouping money, selling cards, it's always very, very important to uh, look at the playability and be quick to act on cards that are getting a huge premium because of potential playability. Because as soon as the cards go up in value, they can crash in value. Uh, if uh, you know it turns out, you know, it was just speculative. So Dragapult, I remember I sold this card for 15 bucks on eBay like a couple weeks ago And if I would have sold it a day earlier, I probably could have sold it for 20 And now here we are two weeks later, and it's like almost a bulk EX card. So again I made $15 off this card, and it's a bulk EX card So the more you know, the more you pay attention to what's going on in the TCG itself, the more you can make a lot of money back Especially if you're someone who's ripping open packs, spending a lot of money it helps to sell anything you have that's even remotely playable. All right, so let's go to Giratina because Giratina from Crown Zenith is a perfect overall representation of Crown Zenith other than the Deoxys. So it's down about 15 to 20% from its high of 137, 138. It's down to, uh, so here, here's the one month chart. So here's essentially the high right there. And so you can see over the last 30 days, it's down about 15%. And that represents pretty much all of Crown Zenith in its entirety. And again, for Crown Zenith, let's say over the next five years, to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's how you get exceptionally valuable cards, exceptionally valuable sets over time, just like Evolving Skies. It's not like Evolving Skies was nothing and then it was everything a couple months ago. No, it goes like that. So it's fine that everything is down from Crown Zenith. That means nothing as far as Crown Zenith's long-term future. If anything, it means nothing but the best stuff for Crown Zenith's long-term future because it's just going to keep going up and down. All right, now I just wanted to real quick scan over the trainer galleries from Sword and Shield because that's something I do just often as part of this. And, uh, and it gives you indications um, which sets in Sword and Shield might be doing certain things too. But just scrolling through all these this uh, trainer gallery stuff, all I'm really seeing of note as far as change recently in the last week or two. Uh, Pikachu V is down five bucks. You know, okay, Pikachu V is down about five bucks. Uh, oh, the Moltres. This card it looks way down. Okay, yeah, this Moltres. Yeah, okay, so Moltres is cut in half. <laughs> I was going to say a couple weeks ago, this card was like 13 or 14 bucks. Okay, it looks like Moltres has came all the way back down to reality. So yeah, Pikachu V down five bucks, Moltres cut in half. Everything else looks pretty standard in, in the same order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Trainer Gallery, Sword and Shield. All right, nothing too crazy going on with Alt Arts too. Nothing's changed since last week. Just stuff going, cooling down, going off, or cooling down, 
whatever. Now Magikarp. Let's end with Magikarp. This, this card has been such a big part of my channel recently. Seems like ever since I pulled it last week, that's when it finally decided to go down. So you are welcome. All of you that still need to buy this card, you are welcome that I finally pulled it, because that's all it needed to finally start tanking. It's not tanking too bad. It, it This card's gone up so freaking much, it has to go back down. And look at that. It looks like 125 could be its next little bounce. Look, it could rest at 125, is what I'm saying. So we had it at 150, and now we're at 130. 124.99 sounds like just a perfect nice compromise of a price for Magikarp, so let's hopefully see that card at 125. That's it. Alright, so that's all I got. Basically, the Charizard's doing good, the Greninja's still doing amazing, Mew's doing great, we got a couple new IRs doing well, Ninetales, Veltal doing great, Metagross doing good, Ralt's doing good, get your Iron Crown finally now if you want that, sell your uh, TCG cards before they tank. And yeah, Crown Zenith is probably still very strong for the long term. Don't worry about certain Crown Zenith cards going down right now. All right, that's all I got, guys. Again, let's uh, let's see here. So uh, again, I am still going to do the Q&A video, just waiting for some more Q&A uh, questions. If you would like to be featured on a future uh, Q&A video, uh, have your name and all that and your question read by me, uh, just send Q&A to any one of my... Uh, videos in the comment section or on Instagram and again next Tuesday Rob does Pokemon I will be on Rob's channel I love Rob he's a great dude and if you can join us next Tuesday 9 p.m. and Rob does Pokemon apple juice breaks I would absolutely appreciate it that's all I got guys like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one deuces